So we were the only two girls in AP Comp Sci, and I went to like a bad public school, so all the computers died. So we'd go to the library and try to do work there. We used to do these massive video chats, all of it, like 20 people um, all at once talking to each other on like Skype. And I think just one time it like cut itself down, so it was just the two of us. So we met that way. We went to the same school, but again, every my school was so small, everyone kind of knew each other from childhood, so I did know of her. I remember being just like so terrified, like my stomach was in knots and knots and knots. And I was like wearing this, like like shorts and tights and boots and like this top and I was like, God, it looks so New York, but I was like terrified. And we went up to her room and I remember we were talking and she kissed me and we fell against the bed. And like nothing had ever felt so right in my entire life. We just got out for coffee at like 8 p.m. So I was really caffeinated and I definitely like remember having to pee and I was so stressed because <laughs> I liked her and like it was this moment on my darkened porch. And she was telling me about this um, dating app she was on and this girl she was talking to. And I think that's what like finally motivated me to say something because I was like, oh no, competition. <laughs> and so finally I told her. I think she was like, I'm so sure you were straight. And I was like, nope, guess not. Um, and then she kissed me. So we were hanging out in my, in my bedroom. We were just watching a movie. And then I remember like kissing her. And then after that, we, pre like, we pretended that it didn't happen. I was like, oh my God, in my mind, I was like, oh my God, what did you do? What did you do? What did you do? I remember her car arrives and she's like, oh shit. Like the people picking her up are here and she was like, okay, I gotta go. And so we sat on the edge of my bed for a while and it was quiet. And she was just like, so that thing that you did before? And I was like, yeah. And then after that, um, she was like, did you mean it? And then I was like, yeah. And then after that, she leans in and she kisses me and she's like, okay, great. Because I didn't know what to say if you said you didn't know if you didn't mean it. And I was just, and she, and she's like, all right, bye. And then after that leaves and I'm just like. What happened was she became too dependent on the relationship. She kept giving threats and ultimatums about like hurting herself or hurting others. Framing all of these abusive, controlling, manipulative things in the language of like, oh, I'm caring for you. I'm concerned about you. Basically, I hooked up with someone else, but with her permission, but we were all very drunk. He said he'd never gotten a blowjob, and I was like, well, I would offer, but I can't, of course. And she said, no, it's okay, you're going to college soon. And then she left, so then that happened. And the next day, she broke up with me. Like, it was unhealthy in a lot of ways. It was codependent. It was um, like toxic in a lot of ways. Both of us were going through a lot of mental health stuff at the time and so we used each other as sort of therapists in a way where a lot of the emotional burden of what we were going through fell to each other to carry. And that's an exhausting thing and that's not fair to either person. Did I love her? I feel like there was a point in time where I did. And that's undeniable, I'm sure I did. But there was also a definite part somewhere in there where I fell out of that and stopped. But I did. Like the feelings I had, it felt like love, but I wanna think that if I loved someone, I wouldn't have done that to them. She said she loved me after we'd broken up and I couldn't say it back because there was just too many feelings and too many things going on. So I still don't know. I was at home over break and I was looking through like old boxes and stuff and I found all these love letters that we'd written back and forth to each other. And I sort of, I think when you look back at something that ended so badly, a lot of times you look at that and you're like, I never loved that person. That was, you know, shit, whatever. And like, it was so horrible and all this stuff. And I like find all these love letters and I was like, oh, I did love this person. Like, I love this person a lot. Like. I forgot how strongly I, I felt 